Now, in this video, we discuss whether the traveling salesman problem, TSP, is an MP complete problem. To answer this question, we first discuss a few terms. The term NP here represents a non deterministic polynomial time. We'll explain what it is and some other terms. Now we first discuss uh, non-deterministic algorithms. A non-deterministic algorithm is a theoretical computational model that allows you to guess a solution. And the algorithm verifies if it is correct. Now you should note that uh, it is a theoretical construct used for analysis and understanding. As of now, physical computers are deterministic in nature. There are no non-deterministic computers. And the second term that we're going to discuss is decision problems. A decision problem is a problem that we can answer yes or no. For example, find a cycle in the graph. This is not a decision problem because we cannot uh, answer yes or no. On the other hand, this problem, does the graph contain a cycle, is a decision problem as we can say yes or no to it. Class P. P is the class of all decision problems that can be solved in, uh, by a polynomial time algorithm. Okay. Uh, so it is a collection of these um, poly, polynomial time algorithms. Yeah. For example, uh, this problem, this decision problem, does the given list of n integers contain the integer free? is a class P problem, as we can solve it in polynomial time. We can simply step through uh, the list and compare each item, uh, check if it is equal free, okay. and we can do this in linear time. Yeah. Class NP, uh, NP means non-deterministic polynomial time. MP is the class of decision problems that we can guess a solution to problem and verify if the solution is correct in polynomial time. And of course, we uh, did not solve it uh, in polynomial time. We just verify the solution in polynomial time. Now, look at any decision problem that can be solved in polynomial time is automatically in NP. Because uh, for this problem, okay, we can check a guess solution in polynomial time also. Okay. So P is a subset of NP or subclass. Class NP complete can be defined in this way. A decision problem X is MP complete if X is in the class MP. Okay. And for every problem Y in NP. Okay. Y can be reduced to X in polynomial time. So this means that if X can be solved in polynomial time, then Y can be solved in polynomial time also. For example, the next problem we just discussed okay, uh, is 
not MP compete because it is readily solved in polynomial time, but it does not help us to solve any MP compete problem in polynomial time. And the sixth term and that we need to know is class MP hard. A problem X is MP hard. If there is an MP complete problem Y, that can be reduced to it. And that is, Y is reducible to X. And as I say, that can be reduced to it in polynomial time. See, from this definition, obviously, if we assume the class P is not equal to class MP, X cannot be solved in polynomial time. Otherwise, all Y problems could be solved in polynomial time, and it would have uh, class P equals class MP. Now, uh, we can summarize what we discuss in these uh, two diagrams. Now, in case P is not equal to MP, so that means uh, we cannot solve uh, the MP problems in polynomial time. Then uh, these classes could be represented by uh, this diagram. So this is the P. So this uh, represent this circle represents the class NP, and this is the MP complete. Okay. So MP contains the uh, P class. Okay, P is a subclass of MP, okay. and the uh, hard problems of uh, MP are the MP complete problems. Okay. Now all these problems are. Uh, decision problems and some of them are uh, NP hard okay. and uh, so these problems are not uh, MP complete because they may not be uh, decision problems you can see that uh, the definition here uh, does not limit the problems to uh, decision problems. So it could be uh, an optimization problem. But uh, any problem here could be reduced okay, to uh, an MP complete problem. Okay. Basically, any problem here could be reduced to any other problem uh, in polynomial time. And in case, uh, some people found out that uh, uh, P equals MP. That means uh, one of these problems could be solved in polynomial time. So then we have uh, this diagram. So P equals MP equals MP complete. Okay. So all these problems could be solved in polynomial time, and including the MP hard problems. But uh, some of the MP hard problems are not MP complete because they are not decision problems. And now, let's look at uh, the traveling salesman's problem, okay? uh, TSP. So the TSP can be defined uh, in this way. Given a set of cities and the distance between every pair of cities, find the shortest circuit that visits every city exactly once and returns to the starting city. So we want to find a path that start from say this city one and traverse every city okay, and goes back to Israel. Okay. So of course uh, this problem can be represented by a graph like this, which can be in turn represented by a weighted adjacency matrix. Okay. It is not difficult to uh, find an algorithm to solve uh, TSP. For example, uh, 
we can compare all possible circuits and find out the shortest uh, circuit. Okay. Like this, we can uh, consider this one, two, three, four, one. So this is one circuit. Okay. And which is the same as one, four, three, two, one. Okay. They are the same. Okay. And the other is one, two, four, three, one, which is of course the same as one, uh, three, four, two, one. Okay. The other is uh, one, three, uh, two, four, one, the same as uh, one, four, uh, two, three, one. Okay. So basically, we have three paths, or uh, three circuits. Each circuit has a total length. Okay. So we can compare them and find out which one is the shortest. Now, if we use this method, and if we have n cities in the problem, then there are two try n minus one factorial over two uh, circuits or paths, and the, the complexity of this problem would be theta n minus one factorial uh, of this algorithm, I should say. So it is very hard. If we have just 30 cities, it would need over 10,000 years for a computer to solve okay, using this method. Now, uh, you might have noticed that uh, the TSP is not a decision problem. Uh, so it is not an MP compute problem because uh, in our definition, okay, um, an MP compute problem should be a decision problem, okay, and that fulfills these two criteria. But we can define a decision version of the TSP, suppose we call it TSPD, in this way. Okay. So it can be defined this way. Given a length L, that's the graph as a tool of most L. So this is a decision problem because we can uh, tell, say yes or no to this problem. Okay. So again, this problem is difficult to solve, but uh, we can guess a path and uh, easily check if it is true, okay, if uh, this is correct. And one can show that TSPD is an MP complete problem. Okay, this decision problem is actually an MP complete problem. It turns out that by making use of binary shirt, we can reduce TSP to TSPD. Okay, that means if PSD, uh, TSPD could be solved in polynomial time, then P. TSP can also be solved in polynomial time. Yeah. Now this pseudocode uh, shows how this is done. Yeah. Now this is uh, TSPD. Okay. So we provide a graph G as an input to it, and uh, L is the uh, link limit length that we discussed. Okay. So in this uh, algorithm or in this uh, function, okay, it will find out whether some circuit in G is smaller than or equal to L. Okay, suppose that this TSP D could solve this problem, and if it could solve that in polynomial time. Okay. So if this is true, we return true, otherwise, we return false. Okay. So by using this TSP D, then we can find the uh, minimum uh, circuit link using binary search, okay. uh, like this. So again, uh, we uh, provided the same graph G, okay. and we start with lower bound zero and calculate some reasonable upper bound, okay. and uh, use the standard binary search method. If lower bound is more than upper bound, 
then we calculate the uh, midpoint uh, by taking the average of them uh, and we make use of the TSPD function uh, this guy uh, and it would tell us whether uh, we have a path that is at most as long as bit length. Okay, if it is true, okay, then uh, we will shoot in the uh, lower half. Okay, that means we set up a bound to mid length. Otherwise, uh, if it is false, okay, uh, we shoot in the upper half. So we set lower bound to uh, mid length plus one. Okay. So when we exit this while loop, okay, then the, the lower bound would be a uh, minimal length or the minimum cost of the tour. And now making use of this, we can solve the TSP. Uh, suppose the graph again is G, we set uh, GT, the temporary uh, variable okay, to be G to start with. So we find out uh, minimum length M okay, from a function that we just discussed Okay, this function. Okay. Now, obviously, this can be done in polynomial time if TSPD is polynomial time. Okay. Then we scan through all the edges okay, for each edge E in the graph G. Okay, we make use of TSPD. Okay, we take away this edge okay, and uh, check whether okay, removing that we still okay, have the minimal circuit okay, we have this M found out okay. if yes then we can remove this edge okay. otherwise we retain it and try another edge so we remove uh, an edge at a time okay. if after removing that we still have a minimal uh, path, okay, then we remove it. Okay. Otherwise, we put it back. Okay. We go for all the edges, okay. then the remaining curve, uh, sorry, remaining graph would be the circuit with minimum length m. Okay. So if uh, TSPT can be solved in polynomial time, okay, then the this can also be solved in polynomial time. So that's why we say TSP can be reduced to a TSPD. So uh, we can say that TSP is an optimization problem that is NP hard okay, based on our uh, definition. Now, it should be noted that while the strict definition of MP completeness is tied to a decision problem, it is common to use the term more broadly to describe the complexity of optimized problems that have been shown to be MP hard. So, in this sense, some authors do consider TSP as an MP complete problem. But strictly speaking, it is not. Okay, um, so if you find that, that this video is uh, helpful to you, please give it a like. Okay, thank you for watching. Okay, bye bye.